Hi and welcome back to another video. Today, as promised in the previous one and on my Instagram stories, in case you guys are following me there, I will have a video all about Capture One. keep seeing people online that are just starting their journey into photography and most of them and the most asked question everywhere is what photo editing software should you use. Personally I have been using Photoshop and Lightroom. I have started with Photoshop and everything that I learned about Photoshop was from YouTube tutorials and watching other people do it and trying things out my own. Um, and recently <laughs> Well, in the past three years, let's say, I have been editing mainly in Lightroom. So at the moment, Lightroom is my main editing software when it comes to editing my pictures, and I rarely now do anything in Photoshop, to be honest. But I have been seeing a lot of talk about Capture One, and I wanted to give it a go. As a disclaimer, I have installed the software, and I have been not necessarily using it a lot, but just looking at where things are. It's still very new, very fresh. I can't say that I know exactly what is going on with this software. There are a couple of things that I'm just discovering and I find very interesting, but I have no idea how to use it properly. So this video is more a comparison from someone that has been using Lightroom for a really, really long time that wants to try a new software. It will be my personal opinion regarding Capture One, how it looks, how it feels, the options that you have in terms of editing. And for that, I will be, I've selected five images, I think. Yes, five images that I will try to edit in Capture One. And at the end of the video, I will do a quick, let's say, time lapse where I will try and edit the same five images, or maybe, I don't know, I'll decide to go with two or three or something like that but I will edit the same ones in Lightroom. So, let's get into it. These are the images that I've selected and um, four of them were actually taken with my Fuji because from what I've heard so far is that Capture One should deal with Fuji files a little bit better but I do also have one image that was taken with my um, Olympus. There are a couple of different ones. So I have the, the one with the dog. Then I have this one, which was shot in the camera with one of the presets. Same with the second one. Then we have one uh, that I thought might work really well because there's a lot of color. So I want to see how Capture One deals with the color. And then I have this one, which was actually taken with my Olympus. Now, very similar to Lightroom, there is a catalog section, uh, which is here. So these are my imports. I've actually created a collection as well, but I can't seem to... Yes, first impression. Uh, so I'm in the catalog. It's fairly easy. You go to file, you go to um, import, which should be here. Yeah, import images and then it will open up your folders, computers and stuff like that and you can import them. So in terms of importing the files, it's very, very similar to Lightroom so far. On this side here, compared to Lightroom where everything is on the opposite side in terms of the editing, uh, I actually have them on the right hand side. Everything that deals with the editing of the image itself is going to be on this side and there are a couple of tabs here at the top so the first one is the library with your photos then the second one is the exposure evaluation uh, then we have the other tab which is lens so in here it does recognize the lens that has been used so this is with the the fuji one let's see yes it does look at that so with the olympus it recognizes the lens that I have been using so you can play with the distortion of the lens you can play with the sharpness as well I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit see this is very weird because that's already selected with something and usually 
Same thing as with Lightroom, you have to hold the space bar and then you can move the image up and down. Sorry, Hayley, um, I know you don't like pictures of yourself, but I think this picture is really nice. And then we have light fall off. There's a slight change on the sides here in terms of um, almost like a vignette. It's very, very subtle. I don't know if, if it's going to be picked up uh, by my recording, but that's... Um, that's interesting. The fringe, I mean, we don't really have a lot of fringing going on. This one was taken with my Fuji, so same thing, we can play with the sharpness. What I noticed um, compared to Lightroom is that the adjustments on, on Capture One, and again, I haven't looked into tutorials or anything, is that they are very, very subtle, which I like because usually when I edit things, sometimes I tend to go a little bit overboard, which is not good, I know. Rotation, so you can level your image if the image wasn't leveled. Then we have color and drag to reorder. We have the histogram at the top. We have layers, um, so it looks like we can do different sort of layers. Base characteristics, so you can select the type of camera that you have been using it. Uh, let's see, Olympus EPL8, perfect. That that seems to be working. Um, you have white balance as well, color editor, uh, and you have a special tab for skin tones. Um, overall color balance in terms of shadow, mid tones, highlight, okay. And then we have black and white. So if we do have a black and white image, then we can play with the actual colors in the image and I know it sounds very weird if, if you guys haven't been doing uh, photo editing for a you know if, if you don't do photo editing um, it does make a big big difference uh, in terms of the color balance if you're turning a picture in black and white so let's say we go with this one turn it in black and white we know we had a lot of reds here and then if we play with the reds you can see how the colors of the poppies and every, everything that was red in the image actually changes across so it can really make your image pop or not and then we have adjust white balance as i said i have no idea how how is this supposed to work then the tab next to it is an exposure tab um, and again, we do have the histogram at the top, we have the layers, and then we have the, the common adjustments that you will find in Lightroom as well, such as white balance, exposure, high dynamic range, clarity, and you have a couple of different clarity options. As I say, like if, if even if you if you change them, I feel like that the, the changes are very, very subtle. Um, and I know on the overall edit it will it will help you a lot with that. Then we have levels. We have a curve adjustment layer where you can adjust light. And then we have uh, one for red color, for green and for blue. And then we have a vignetting option where you can add a vignette to your image, either in white or in black. So that's useful to have. Again, you have options for focusing, sharpening, noise reduction film grain so you can add different sort of grain to your image spot removal good to know where it is it's in the search tab then we have adjustments so we have some built-ins then you have the file name and you have information about the image itself what was it taken with the sort of settings that you, you have used and stuff like that um, you can add keywords which is something that you can do in Lightroom as well and then you have a tab with settings you know, settings that you want to edit a picture at. Um, output location, so you can select where do you want the final image to go, and then you can select a folder in there. Output naming, again, the name of the image that you want. Uh, process summary, again, more information about the picture itself and the color profiles and the batch. Now, this is the overall view, so I say we should try and edit these images.
that was the first look at Capture One. Um, I can say that I'm impressed in a good way. Um, I'm not saying that I will change using Lightroom uh, and I will switch completely to Capture One, but it's definitely a software that I would like to look into a little bit more um, and maybe learn using it a little bit better. <laughs> I was looking through the comments and the questions that you guys asked uh, me on Instagram about Capture One and Lightroom. I will post my handle for Instagram here somewhere and I want to quickly answer a couple of them. So the main question that you guys were asking on Instagram about Lightroom and Capture One was what was the main, what is the main difference between the two softwares. They're both photo editing softwares, they're made by two different companies um, and they both have their advantages and disadvantages. The main thing with Lightroom that keeps reappearing when people are talking about Lightroom in comparison with Capture One is that Lightroom has a really, really good organization no system, let's call it. Um, the way that you can organize your photos into different catalogs and tag them and stuff like that seems to be a big, big plus for Lightroom. I personally don't use it that much, um, but I know a lot of people are using Lightroom not only for editing but also for organizing their images and that's apparently something that Capture One is still working on. We saw that you do have a couple of catalogs and stuff like that in Capture One as well, but I imagine they are not as efficient as the ones from Lightroom. The other thing is that apparently the, the Capture One color calibration is a lot better than the one from Lightroom. And as you can tell from the images and from the results that I got from that really, really quick edit, you can tell that the colors that I managed to, to get in my images uh, edited with Capture One, they look a lot better, they look a lot nicer. They have a lot of different profiles in terms of um, the, the photo, the, the camera that you're using and the lens that you're using and stuff like that. So they have a big plus in terms of, of coloring. The other thing is apparently in terms of uh, the way that you edit your things in, in Lightroom where you don't actually have layers, you do have to use Photoshop for different layers, Capture One uh, comes up with the extra layering. So in, in Lightroom, once you edit something, it kind of stays there and unless you're editing um, a gradient filter or a radial filter and you can go back and change them. But in terms of overall changes to the image, you don't really have a way of going back. Overall, I think it's more about um, how you're using. I'm just looking on a couple of notes that I, that I have made. Um, it's personal preference, really. I mean, I got used to using Lightroom, so I, as I said, I don't think I will move completely to Capture One, even though it is tempting. Um, but I've got used to the way, uh, to the to the layout in Lightroom, to the way that I'm working in Lightroom, to the to where the settings are and everything. So it's it's a personal personal choice in the end. Some people might use Capture One for the first time and they might love it. So in terms of differences, there can be a lot of them, but they, they both have their advantages and, and disadvantages. Someone was asking about the difference with spot healing and masking as well. I tried a little bit of the spot healing and to be honest, compared to Lightroom, I think that the Capture One does the spot healing a lot better. Um, which again, I was surprised. I didn't compare it to Photoshop, where Photoshop might be even better than Lightroom, for example, or Capture One. But comparing Capture One and Lightroom, I feel like the, the spot healing is a lot, a lot better than in Lightroom. Um, so that's, that's the plus. Someone was asking how to, to make presets. If you guys are interested in learning how to make presets in Lightroom, uh, please leave a comment down, down below, send me a message on Instagram and I will try and, and do a video all about creating your own presets. I have a couple of presets in Lightroom that I'm currently using and I actually created a couple for myself um, that I usually like to use um, at the beginning of the editing session, let's say. So I get a picture in Lightroom, I choose one of my presets, and then from there I start editing the picture and it might end up looking differently in the end. But um, yeah, if you guys want me to do a, a video about presets and how to make presets in Lightroom, please leave a comment down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this 
first look at Capture One video and I hope it gave you a little bit of insight um, in the editing process that I have and also um, it gave you a little bit more information about how Capture One looks versus, versus Lightroom. With Capture One as well as with Lightroom, in case you guys are not using any editing softwares, both of the companies and the brands are offering a 30 day trial so you can just go into adobe.com or you can go into captureone.com and you can sign up for a free trial. It's a 30 day trial, you can try it out, see which one feels better for you and if you, if you decide to go ahead and uh, purchase one of them, you can go ahead and do so. <laughs> Until next time!